Hi, this is Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, and this is my MPC software tutorial for producers, entry level. So this is the very beginning uh, stages of the MPC software. I'll go on to more advanced stages of the MPC software later on down the line. <clears throat> so please make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell to get future videos on the MPC software and other tips and tricks that can help you with your beat production in the near future all right so let's get started so this when you click on the mpc software this is what will pop up this is what it looks like starting okay and we'll start with the very basics right here you have your metronome you can cut it on and off right here you have your metronome volume right here you have your timing correct so you could change your quantization values beneath that you have your swing you can swing from anywhere from 50 to 75 percent next to that you have your bars you have your beats and you have your ticks right next to that you have beat your beat display which is this or you can change it to time display hours minutes seconds and frames right next to that you have your tempo you have your tap tempo, so if I tap this button multiple times, or I hit, if I hit the T button, it'll, as you see, I'm hitting the letter T, and that's my tap tempo. Right here, where it says master, I can change that to sequence mode. So now, just a step backwards, a sequence is basically a pattern in FL Studio. So the way FL Studio says pattern, 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 a pattern in MPC mode, in MPC world, is a sequence. Okay? So you can have multiple sequences just like you have multiple patterns in FL Studio. So what this does, if it's on sequence, your tempo will follow whatever sequence you have. So if sequence 1 has a tempo of 93, Sequence 2 could have a sequence of 98, 100, whatever you, whatever you choose, okay? So that takes care of the box in here, your, your basics. Right next to that, you have your transport control. This consists of your record button, your overdub, your retrospective record, your punch in, your stop, your play button, and your play start. Now the difference between play start and play, if I hit play start, it's going to start my session from the very beginning. Now if I hit play, it's going to start from where the playhead is. Okay, so I'm going to hit play, and it continues. Now if I hit play start, it's going to hit start from the beginning again. See? Next to that, you have your CPU usage, so... If your computer is not that, can't handle resources too tough, you'll see it in here going up. Up here you have your in and your, your MIDI in and out signal. So when you have your MIDI controller hooked up, when you hit the keys, you should see MIDI input and MIDI, MIDI input coming in. Okay. Here I can set my automation. Here I can set it to auto scroll. So when your playhead is going, if I have like a long song here, let's say it was 78 bars, this button here, sorry, this button here, the auto scroll will follow the playhead and won't get left behind. This button right here will turn your computer keyboard into a sort of musical keyboard. So you can use the keys on your keyboard to play melodies. Or chords okay so moving down you can record MIDI tracks or you can record audio tracks if I want to record MIDI make sure the MIDI is highlighted if I want to deal with audio make sure the audio is highlighted okay below that you have your sequence you can change the sequences here just drop down and click whatever sequence you want or if you have the MPC Studio Mark II, 
You can change the sequence by hitting Shift, Sequence Select, and now turn the dial. And you'll see that I could go up to however many sequences I want. Okay. Now, below the sequence, you can have different information in here to help you. Let me go back to MIDI. You have different information about your track going on in here. So right now I just have bars and transpose on. But if I come here and I click this little three lines here, I can put my BPM in here. I can put my loop button in here. I can put my time signature and everything else in here, okay? Below that you have your ready record button. And here, when you click the three lines here, you have more options. You can click, uh, let's click type, let's put that in there, that's important. You can show your MIDI input port, your MIDI output port, your velocity, transpose, mutant solos. But I try to keep it as minimal as possible and just the things that I need the most, okay? Now, so you can change your tracks here by hitting here and dropping down, change your tracks. Or... You can hit the track select button on your MPC Studio. Let me click out of here. Let me, I'm going to move my arrow up here so, excuse me, go back here. So you can see me kind of using my MPC Studio. All right. So I'm going to click track select. Excuse me. And as you can see, the buttons move. When I turn the dial, you can see the tracks changing. Okay. Below this, you have your different modes, okay? So right here, we have drum modes so we can load in our programs. Our programs are basically in FL Studio terms. It's like a kit. It's a kit filled with uh, 16 pads. Or you can have um, up to 16 pads times 8. So you have 8 banks. So bank A can have 16 pads in it. Bank B can have 16 pads with sounds in it also, up to 8. So you got 8 times 16, okay? And you can just load your kits in that way. Over here, you have your key groups. This is a great way for playing WAV files using, uh, using like a sample mode uh, with your key groups. So I could play like 808s, uh, keyboards, strings using key groups. I'll go into that in detail a little bit more in the future. Then you have your plug-in mode. So you, you can use whatever VST plugins you have. Now, MPC comes with some great, great uh, plugins. I was pretty surprised. Uh, baseline is really nice. Electric is real nice. But one of my favorites is Hype. Hype is amazing as far as uh, sounds go. And then they gave us a lot of old school kind of sounds like the Mellotron, the Selena strings, and the tube synth is really nice. So I have no complaints with the sound library they give us here. Then they have one called Odyssey, which is really nice too. Then you have a bunch of drum synths. And this is where you get your VSTs that you have loaded in, okay? I'll show you how to get your VSTs loaded on here in another video. So we're going to close that out. This MIDI right here is if you have an outboard MIDI device. So let's say if you have a keyboard like a Korg Triton, or you have a sound module like a Roland XV3080, Roland uh, JV1080, uh, Yamaha Motif ES uh, Rack. Anything like that, you can go in here and utilize your 16 channels of MIDI through this. Clip mode is basically like, um, how can I say it? It's like an Ableton Live mode where you can play different loops and all the loops so all the loops match the tempo and everything like that. CV is a little bit more on, a, on an advanced level. I uh, will get into that on another video, okay? How about the drum. Now, we're back in the drum mode where we can load our programs. 
Right now I have three programs loaded in. Uh, a couple boom bap programs and a trap program. Now, with your sounds, you can add effects. These are your effect slots. You get four, you get four effect slots per sound or four effect slots per program. So, if you want to add effects to a particular sound, right, you click this button right here where it says pad channel at the bottom. It looks like a little square. Hit whatever effect you want. Hit whatever sound you want. Excuse me. So let's say I put the snare. Now, I'm just going to do this for video purposes right now. I'm going to add a delay. Normally, I wouldn't add a delay on a on a pad like this, but I would normally add it as a send effect. So we we'll air delay. Let's see. So now I just added an effect to the pad, to the snare pad, with a air, uh, with a delay button, with a delay effect. You can hear the effect going. I can up the feedback a little bit, up the mix. You get the point. Okay? That's how you add a, an effect to an insert channel. Okay? Below that, you have your, send of, your sends. Okay? Normally, I would add this delay to a send channel to a return channel excuse me i would add the delay to a return channel and i would send part of my signal to that return channel i will get into i'll show you how to do that on another video uh, that's more of an advanced kind of technique if you're just starting out okay now i can add an effect to that a sound or i can add an effect to the whole program right now i have an effect of the compressor on the whole program but if I want to show you how to add an effect to the whole program that that you could tell we'll add that same delay to the whole to the whole kit so now I can add it to the snare whoa now it's getting double delay let's check another pad you can hear the delay on the on the hi-hat now see Let's uh, up the feedback a little bit. Okay, so that's how you add an effect to um, that's how you add an effect to a insert slot. Okay, let's take this off. So. Over here, you can choose whatever kit you want. This routes it to whatever output you want. So if you have a if you have a audio interface with multiple outputs, you can select what output you want to route it through through here, in stereo or in mono. Or if you want to use your sub mix channels too, you get up to eight sub mix channels to work with. Down here can be your program level change to change the level for the whole program or it could be a level change for just a single pad okay now if you want to load a kit into the MPC software it's well before we go into loading kits, the one thing you're gonna have to learn uh, to do before you start is get your audio interface set up with your software. Your audio interface can be anything like a uh, USB, a Firewire. Uh, I happen to have a Focusrite USB solo, so you want to go up to where it says MPC. Excuse me. Go down to preferences. And select audio devices. It's already selected. And then choose what audio interface you have. 
Now, I have a Scarlet Solo I'm not using right now. Just for the purpose of this video, I want to use my built-in outputs. And I have the built-in, uh, this is where you change the input at. You can also change the sample rate and the buffer size if you need to. We'll go over all of these other uh, options in a later video, probably the next video, because you need to know this stuff too. And let's load up a kit. Okay, so let's load up a kit real quick so you can see how it works. Uh, okay, let's go to Premiere Beats. We'll load up a program, go to Hip Hop. And we'll go to the king. There's a little preview of each one. So you can hear what it sounds like. Now if I want to load the king, that is the one I just loaded in, the king. Now if I want to load that up, simply go to where here with this program under the drum tab. And you'll see what says the king. It tells you all of the main information you need, like the title, the tempo, and the key. The key is D, uh, D minor. And this is good for later on. I'm going to show you some stuff you can do with that D minor or any key that you're working in. Okay? So hit that. And now it changed the whole kit to the king. And those are the sounds that are contained in that one kit, okay? And I can load up multiple kits and put them on multiple banks. And I can just jam out live that way, all right? So this is a basic NPC software tutorial slash overview of the NPC software. If you have any questions about the NPC software, drop a comment below in the comment section. I do read all comments. Also, check the description if you're interested in NPC software. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get one with the NPC Studio Mark II software, Mark II hardware, excuse me, to go with your software. And the hardware comes with a video tutorial showing you how to use it from scratch. So, but I'm going to show you some of the basics here. So, by the time you get your box, you can start jamming out uh, without the video, okay? All right, so this is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeastfulLyricist.com. Make sure you check the description for a link for the NPC Studio. The Focusrite Solo interface that I have, they will be affiliate links. So if you click them and purchase through me, I may, see, I may receive a little cash reward for it. It will also help me support the channel. And I want to thank you for checking out this MPC software tutorial video slash overview. My name is Jimmy Conway, BeastfulLyricist.com. Please leave a comment below, subscribe, and click the notification bell. All right? This is your man, Jimmy Conway. Peace out. One love.